People decide if your app is worth using in the first few seconds. In this video, we're building that moment, a smooth onboarding screen in SwiftUI that actually feels premium. Let's do it. All right, so we're starting with the model and the data. If you followed the earlier tutorials, you already know how this works, what a model is, what identifiable does, all of that. So I won't go through it again here. If you want to refresh your memory, the link's in the description. Here we've just got a simple struct, image name, title, and description, and three onboarding items in a list. That's what we'll use in the view. That's it for this part. Let's keep going. First, visible item equal onboarding items equal dot first. This tracks which onboarding card is currently visible. We'll use this to connect the scroll position and also update the text below the image. Next, current index. This is just the index of the current card, zero for the first, one for the second, and so on. We use it when moving between items. Then, direction. This tells us which direction we're scrolling. One means forward, minus one means backward. So when we hit the last card, we flip this to minus one so the scroll reverses back. After that, auto scroll enabled. This is just a flag. It lets us stop the auto scroll when the user interacts manually. So if someone swipes through the cards, we pause the timer so it doesn't fight the user. And finally, timer. This creates a timer that runs every four seconds. It's connected to the main thread, so it works with UI updates. And auto connect just means it starts automatically. We don't have to manually start it. All right, before we jump into this part, just a quick reminder. We've already gone through how scroll view ID, scroll transition, scroll target layout, and scroll position work in a previous tutorial. So if you're not sure how those work, pause here and check that one out first, the link's in the description. The only real difference here is that this one scrolls horizontally while that example was vertical. Cool, now let's go through how the images are shown. We've got a horizontal scroll view with a simple H stack inside it. Inside that, we loop over our onboarding items and for each one we show an image. The image is resizable, scaled to fill, clipped with rounded corners, and has a nice white stroke around it. We also add some scroll transition effects to give that smooth animation. The active card pops a bit while the others shrink and fade. Everything is wrapped in scroll target layout so we can control the position using visible item, which connects with scroll position. That's the whole setup for the scrollable image cards. All right, next up, we've got this part down here, the onboarding footer view. This is where we show the title and description for the currently visible item. It updates as you scroll through the cards. I'll show you the full code in just a second, but just so you know, this view is totally separate from the scroll. It just listens to the visible item and updates what's shown. So here's what it's doing. If there's a valid item, we show the title and description in a vertical stack. Pretty straightforward. We've added content transition to animate the text change when switching between items, just a subtle touch. The offset is only there to push the content up a bit visually. It's not related to any animation or transition, just layout. Below that, We've got a basic terms and privacy policy link, and then the Apple sign-in button. That button uses a shimmer effect. And yeah, we already covered how to build that in a previous tutorial, so I won't explain it again here. If you want to see how the shimmer works, the link's in the description. Now let's talk about how the cards scroll automatically. This part happens inside on receive, which listens to the timer we set earlier, the one that fires every four seconds. So every time the timer ticks, this block runs. First, we check if auto scroll enabled is true. If it's not, we skip everything. That's how we stop auto scroll when the user interacts. Then we increase the current index by the scroll direction. If we reach the end of the list, we flip the direction so it starts scrolling backwards. If we go below zero, we flip it back to forward again. Finally, we update visible item with the new item from the array. And since that's bound to the scroll position, it smoothly scrolls to the next card. Last part, this is how we handle manual scrolling. We use on change and we pass in visible item value to detect when the user scrolls to a new card. So if the visible item changes and it's different from the one we had before, we know the user probably swiped manually. When that happens, we turn off auto scroll enabled. That stops the timer from moving things around. Then we update current index to match the new item. And we wrap that in an animation to keep everything smooth. That's it. This is how we give control back to the user and avoid fighting with their scroll.